broadcast on this program do not necessarily reflect or represent those of the owners, management, or advertisers of Pacific Telestations, Inc. This message has been brought to you by the stations of KUAM. You're watching Buzz with Jess Luha. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Luhan. Welcome to the Buzz this evening. My in-studio guest, good friend, my poly, my father, <laughs> Father Eric Forbes. How you doing, hey, Father? How you doing? Same How are you doing? Thank you for taking time out of I know you very busy schedule mm -hmm. uh, to come and, and talk to uh, our, uh, of course, our, our viewers here tonight about Samorozu. Samorozu. Samorozu yeah. is actually a documentary that they're going to start filming the week after next, right? Correct. Uh, can you tell us all about it, Father? I mean, you kind of teased us about it about a year ago. Yeah. So, so now you're teasing us even more. <laughs> yes. You know, and it's about time because people thought that it was already, you know, available sure. for sale. Yeah. And, but what we were doing was we were promoting it to raise the money mm -hmm. so that we can actually do this project mm -hmm. without getting into debt. Because mm -hmm. I have no land, <laughs> no collateral, <laughs> nothing. You, you can't take a loan out. Exactly. <laughs> Nipigi bank powder. So um, we raised the money, yeah. and we actually raised seventy thousand mm -hmm. dollars more than than the hundred and fifty yeah. grand wow. we needed. We Fantastic. went up to two hundred and twenty, and so that's fundraising. Mm -hmm. That's people donating, government entities, corporate businesses, families, individuals. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and again, West Coast, the fifty states of the Union, Guam, mm -hmm. Northern Marianas, sure, right? Sure. So the people are behind this. And so now we're ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so we uh, got the film crew, and they're coming here on February 20th mm -hmm. in the evening, the next day, give them some rest. Mm -hmm. But we've got a tight schedule to uh, film as much as we can. And, and as a matter of fact, we're trying to work it out. We're trying to work it out with time Time allows that you maybe some of your film crew or, or folks that are going to be filming to to come in <coughs> the week after next. We're going right. to try to work on that, okay? You, you promised me that. Promise you. <laughs> okay. So, so tell us about this because, again, to refresh the people's memories about Tsamorudu, this is what you've been working on for since ever since, right? <laughs> well, I've been working on researching Chamorro culture, okay. history, language uh, since my teens, really. Uh, you know, I'm a Poksai I was mm -hmm. raised by sure. my grandmother and mm -hmm. back in the late 60s, sure, 70s. Sure. So, I've always had this interest, and then uh, it just keeps building, building, mm -hmm. building, right? So I, I have six filing cabinets, sure. you know, of uh, old documents, photographs, mm -hmm. notes. Mm -hmm. uh, I interview everybody that I can, etc. Mm -hmm. sure. So I, when I was in the States and I was uh, looking for something to do to assist the Chamorro community there, mm -hmm. doing fiesta masses and so forth, but the, the idea came up for me to do Chamorro cultural workshops for the Chamorros out there. So mm -hmm. I did, and they were greatly successful, you know, two, three, four hundred people um, at most of them. And uh, they said, well, after this, what do we do? And they said, well, come up with a documentary and mm -hmm. put it on DVD and mm -hmm. uh, we'll make it available to everybody, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. all day. I mean, uh, all uh, every day of the year. And so they said, OK, and that's how it started. So, so let me ask you this, uh, Father. Of course, you're a Capuchin priest. Right. <laughs> OK. Now, does does this Samorozu, is, is this based on, again, Following how uh, the Chamorros became Catholics, or, or so, where does where does where does where do we right. start? That's part of the story. Okay, but uh, the bigger picture is mm -hmm. this documentary is the story of the Chamorro people told by the Chamorros. Told by the Chamorros. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be uh, different, and I think it's needed that we have this. Sure, that sure. it's it's not so much you know uh, the story of events. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. Uh, on July twenty first, nineteen forty four, this is where the U S. Marines sure, landed, sure, and they sure. they sh they shot those Japanese. Sure. Up there. Okay. Th that's important, mm -hmm. and the story has been told. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the Chamorro people mm -hmm. and how that affected Chamorros, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how a year later in 1945 and what happened in 1950. Mm -hmm. So the events affected the people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so sure. who's going to tell our story? Sure, sure. How all of these things affected yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So this documentary will be the mouthpiece for that. Mm -hmm. Now, so, now mm -hmm. of, of course, again, you were Poksai Biha, mm -hmm. okay? Um, a lot of our elders, I mean, God bless their souls, some of them are still with us, yes. but there are very few and far between That's right. at, at, at this point. That's right. You started collecting all these documentation and interviewing and right. all this since you were in, in, in your in your early teens yeah. so again so in filming this how are you going to capture again the umku that's going to tell that story and going back to 
that time that we remember, even when times when you didn't remember. <laughs> right. Well, as you said, we still have a few. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask a few of them mm -hmm. to, to speak in this documentary. But it's not a, uh, interviews on film, sure, sure. on camera, no. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to take some significant statements, but mm -hmm. I'm really going to be the storyteller. Okay, okay, <coughs> okay. And I, I kind of think this is why the mm -hmm. public has supported this project, mm -hmm. is because I've been a priest for 25 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. in pretty much all the islands of the sure, Marianas, sure. and you know, recently in the States among mm -hmm. the Chamorros there. So they kind of know, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so, some here really know that perhaps I was given a gift to tell a story, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. from the pulpit, sure, sure, you know. Sure. But now they have the faith to, to, to give me their mm -hmm, support so mm -hmm. I can tell this story. Sure, sure. Because I'm not making it up. Sure, I'm, sure. I'm saying this is the story mm -hmm, I've mm -hmm. heard mm -hmm. all these 25 yeah. plus years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's not just my story. It's mm -hmm. this guy's story and this lady's sure, story, sure, you know. Sure. And so it's not just my story. You were asking, is this the story of how the Chamorros became mm -hmm. Catholic? That's just one. A one aspect. Very of important, yeah. but one aspect. But yes, yes. And so what about the stories of the Chamorro Baptists? Mm -hmm. uh, or sure, what about sure. today, the Chamorros yeah. who have no faith? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Everybody's story, because it, we're one people, mm -hmm. but we're different mm -hmm. in many ways. And so mm -hmm. everybody's voice gets heard. And, and I'm glad you said that, uh, Father, b because you, you're right. Um, our story has, have, have not been told by us. Ch Chamorros, uh, basically, in, in, in essence, because, you know, I'm, you know, over the years, I've read things and, and studied and looked at the authors, and the authors are maybe helped by some Chamorros, mm -hmm. but not main authors. <clears throat> and then, uh, even up to now, I, I'm, I'm hearing some things, and I'm going, it, it's kind of different, a different aspect, uh, somebody else from another place telling this story someone else telling this and I'm going well I, I'm get you know really are we, is it really more in the middle <laughs> well it's really different uh, for someone to say this happened to Maria Limtiaco mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but when Maria Limtiaco's grandson is telling, telling the story, the story yeah. what happened yeah. you know what the Japanese sure, did you sure, know sure. it's different right yeah, yeah. yeah Chamorros have been telling their story yeah mm -hmm. you know Tony Paloma has written sure, you know sure. People are doing stuff sure. now. Chamorros are doing stuff sure. now. Yeah. But to put it all together, together. Mm -hmm. uh, the story of the Chamorros from as far back as we can go sure. to mm -hmm. what's going on now, mm -hmm. Guam, Marianas, Northern Marianas, mm -hmm. and, the, mm -hmm. and the 50 states, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. maybe this is what my mission is for now, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. put that all together, sure. Sure. everybody's voices, mm -hmm. and say, here it is. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, no, th this is fantastic. You know, I, I had um, <coughs> uh, Professor... Um, uh, Bavakwa on, on, on my show, uh, actually my very first uh, show of, of the year. Right. And uh, at that time I had him on because of the uh, a little gathering they had at the University of Guam about Ilun Pali mm -hmm. at, at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was talking to them about it. And every, every time I have people like yourself on, mm -hmm. I'm very versed in, in, in Guam history, I, I, I learned a thing or two or something new about mm -hmm. things, right? And uh, of course, he was telling me at the time, he says, you know, um, at that time, when the Spanish priests came to Guam and they were telling people, hey, you, you, these are these type of worship where you, you keep the skull of, mm -hmm. of, of, of your loved one right. was almost, eh, for lack of a better term, satanic or something, you know? But basically, it, it was kind of, it was like our version of our eight by tens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they kept it there and, yeah. of course, they use it in, in battle or going to fish mm -hmm. and things like that and use mm -hmm. the bones and all that, right? And he says, uh, at, the, at the time, the, um, the, um, the Spanish priests, uh, but what they were doing, they were telling us not to do it, but in the same token, they were saving the, the, the skulls right. of, their, of the priests. Right. And, then, and, and we go to Europe, we see these right. catacombs, we see these man, things of, man, all these people died, right. we see all right. these right. preservation of, of skulls, right. and you're going like, yeah, right. I mean, we, we are a conquered people. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it wasn't the matter of the skulls. Yeah, yeah. But whose skull but was whose it? But whose skull was right. it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's whose right. Whose skull yeah. was it and what are you doing with sure, it? Sure, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. But the, that, that on Solorsano, that yeah. the, the priest sure. who, yeah. What the, the custom was to send the skull after, of course, it, you know, sure. went through natural process. Yeah. And it became a skull mm -hmm. and not a head anymore. Sure, sure. Was to send the skull of the... The, the martyred priest mm -hmm. uh, to its original province, mm -hmm. the province he belonged sure, to. Sure, sure. And so that's how that came about. Yeah. yeah. So, so going back again to, uh, again, Samoro, the story of Samoro, because 
you've got all the script out already. It's ready. Right. It's, it's good to go. Yeah. How far back do we go in the storytelling of that Samoro? We're going to go back as far as evidence can lead us mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at archaeological evidence, mm -hmm. and we're looking at DNA. Mm. We're looking at genetics, which is a new, mm -hmm. a relatively yeah, new yeah, yeah. Uh, source of evidence uh -huh, or, or, uh -huh. or source of information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've, uh, based on the DNA evidence already, I mean, you're going to do a, a, a segment on DNA and, and really you're going to surprise us by some of the things that... Uh, I think a lot of it is well known, known right? Okay. I mean, there's yeah. various sure, competing sure. theories, sure, but sure. it generally points to okay. the Sulawesi, yeah. yeah, that part of Indonesia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. I got to pay some bills right now, uh, Father. We'll okay. be right back talk more about some motors. Okay. We'll be right back.